Hello, hello, my bride friend or groom, whoever you are that is watching this video. If you know that you want a website for your wedding, which is a great idea, I think, especially these days where everything is so digital, and you want to do that on Squarespace, you have come to the right place. I'm going to show you how to customize a Squarespace wedding template and make it your own and make that happen as fast as possible so that you can get back to the more fun stuff of planning your wedding. So I am here, squarespace.com slash templates, and I have hit all templates because I know which one that I want to select. So I'm going to do command F for find and type in Dario. This is the template that I would like. I'm gonna show you how to use today. So you can see over here there's sample color presets. It's super tempting to wanna to click on those and get started there. Don't do that, let me show you how to do it my way and start with this design. First thing it's gonna ask you for is the site name. In this case, you're likely going to want to make it your names. Whoever is getting married, that would be my suggestion. Hit next. You can close out of this. It's gonna show you how to use Squarespace, but that's what I'm here for. So you can see it's customized your names up here in the top left. I know it's gonna be tempting again to wanna to scroll through here and start customizing things, but let's do things a little bit differently. The first thing I wanna do is come into edit mode and here in the top left-ish. And if you have wedding colors and wedding fonts already, then let's start there. Uh, if you have like a wedding invite that you've already made or save the date or something, I would recommend figuring out what those fonts and colors are and using those here. I know this isn't a, like a brand or a business, but it's nice to make things consistent when you're planning such a big event. So come into this little paintbrush here, the site styles in the top right, and let's start with fonts because that's up top. You can click into headings, and then right here under family, if you click that, these two fonts at the top are what are currently being used on the site, but if you click browse all fonts, it will show you a bunch of fonts. You can see how small the scroll bar is on the right when I scroll. There are a lot of fonts to choose from. If you know what fonts are, it's so weird what comes up when I like click a search or a type bar. Um, it's like Smirnoff Ice Relaunch Tour. That's really helpful right now. <laughs> if I type in Arial, you can see that pops up. So whatever your fonts might be, add those in for your headings. You can change the font size right here. And you can see that reflect over on your page already. And you can always come and fine tune these later. I at least like for you to pick your font and wait. I like to go a little heavier for the headers. Go back, do the same for your paragraphs, buttons, and miscellaneous. I recommend that you stick to two fonts to keep it clean and easy to read. You don't want to go crazy on fonts. People aren't here to check out your font styles, they're here to find some information. And then let's go back to site styles and into colors. If you use certain colors for your save the date, do edit palette, and you can enter those in here. I, a little different than these, I would recommend for your five colors, you do a white or something like very similar, like an off-white, ivory, whatever, something light, an accent color, a dark color, and then black or something very close to black, like a charcoal or whatever, a brown, uh, whatever you might want to use there. You can see that there are some presets, but if you were like me, you probably had specific colors that you're using for your wedding and you want to drop those in. These are the hex codes for you to be able to do that. So if I click on this middle accent color here, you can change that color. You can see it changed the button color. It's kind of hard to see since they're just the outlines, but we'll get to that later. If you have your, maybe your engagement pictures and you, you don't have colors yet, you can select from image, drop in your image, and it will pull colors from that image for you to create a color palette, which is fun and great and an easy way to create a color palette if you don't have one. And that way, all the pictures that you're using on your site and the colors will go together very well. Colors, site styles, back. Okay, we've got our fonts and our colors selected. I'm actually going to make this not so dark. There we go. Dark, but not that dark. Okay. And close. 
Okay, so we've got fonts and colors. Now let's just start from the top of this page and I will show you how to make some quick and easy customizations to make this your own. So, if we come into Edit Site Header again, if I click on the button, click on the pencil, this is linking over to the RSVP page, which is great. We can customize that later. But if you want to change that, if you have a different like app or something that you're using for RSVPs, you can remove the link and put your own in. Design, I'm going to come over. They're all outlines. Okay, I lied. Let's come back to site styles, into buttons, and let's make this not an outline by clicking square and then coming over to fill. There we go. And I'm going to get rid of that white outline by doing that. Okay, now we have a button that we can see. I'm going to do the same for all of them. If you like the outlines, that's great, but they're not showing up on the pictures, so I'm going to change them. There we go. The three different button styles are now solid. Okay, now we can close out of there. Okay, so you got your RSVP button set. These are pages that are included in the template. The wedding location and gifts are included in the template. Um, so I'll show you where to edit those in a minute. But again, let's see. If I highlight this text, type out our names here. This is when and where we got married, but 2014. <laughs> and again, your RSVP button, if you click edit, you'll see it's already linked up in the template to that RSVP page. So if you change this top button, you're going to want to change this one too. So this section, now we need to change the background image. If I hover over this section here and click edit section, and then background, you can see that's where this picture lives. I always just click delete, add an image, upload a file, or you can drag and drop it in. Um, I'm just going to drop this one in since it was one of the first ones available. Okay, we'll let that load in. You can also choose from those stock images if you'd like to add to the ones that you already have. Okay, and then the rest of this page will be very similar to what we just did. It's just text and pictures. So come scroll down here. Well, I always do that. I try to like select the text and end up moving the box. So. If you do that, you're not alone. <laughs> um, you can type in whatever you might want there. These are all just three individual images, so click on the image, the pencil, and then the same, the same process we just went through above. Delete the image and drag and drop in your own. For all three of those, again, these are just text blocks. Catherine's story. Whoops. Chris's story. And you can customize that down there. Again, another background image with text. Hover over, click edit section, background. I'll show you one more thing for these background images. If you want to change what's called the overlay opacity, you can do that down here. You can make it darker or lighter. You just want to make sure that your picture is easy to see. If you come into colors, you can also change what color is the overlay color and get a little different and customized effect for you that way. Again, welcome dinner, you can customize these however you like. If you don't need a welcome dinner section, hover over it and delete it. Or if you want to reorder things a little bit, just hit these arrows. Again, another background image with text. The info about this second day here, the wedding day, background image and text again, and some more text. Down here in the footer, this will show up on every page. If you click edit site footer, you can customize again with your names. I'm gonna center it. Again, we've got the RCP link. It kind of shows up everywhere. If you customize it once, you gotta do it a couple times. This is a text hyperlink, so I'm just gonna click into the text and remove link, and you can customize it if you need to. This part down here, I like to delete that. And then just click back into the page if you wanna keep editing the page, and hit save. 
and then exit. So that's your home page of your wedding website. If we come into website over here in the top left, you can see these are the pages that you see up here in the navigation. If I click location, it will officially create that page. You can come in and hit edit and again do the exact same thing you just did on the home page, background image, and text. Text, and here we have a map. Kind of the theme of editing your Squarespace site. If you want to change something, click on it and then look for the pencil button. You can type in the address here and it will just automatically pull in a map for you. You can change the design and styling of that map by going right here under design and changing the styling. Again, text and images, background images mostly. If you, for example, let's say you want to add a new section, if you have more info than what is in this template, you can just, if you're hovering over any of these sections in edit mode, click add a section. It will greet you with a lot of options here. I always add a blank section and then click add a block and you can add a text block. You can drag and drop that around to whatever you might need. Let's say you want to create two columns. So here's this text block and I'm going to create another one with that duplicate box. I did that kind of fast. If I, if I click this block and then click these two blocks here, it will duplicate and then you can drag and drop and make your own sections. And the same if you want to put a background image on it, edit section, background, drop that in. You can add a video if you'd like, make for some fun content if you have a video. And that is this page. We always save and then exit. GIFs, come into edit mode, background image and text. Um, this is asking just for, for money straight through um, PayPal, if you have like a PayPal link or whatever, a Venmo link or whatever, um, or this could be where you link to your different registries. What I would do, I'd probably be like registry one name here. Um, I don't know if you would really need a description. Um, add block button. We're going to move that button down under this section, make it the same width, and then click the pencil icon to edit it. So you have a registry, a target, and then you can click here to attach your specific target registry link. I would probably do that and honestly just highlight these two. Just kind of click and drag your cursor over to select, and I hit delete. And instead, let's click and highlight to select these two blocks. Duplicate like I just showed you. Look for that yellow line to know that you're in the center of your page and then duplicate a third time. And there you have your three different registry options with buttons that link straight up to those registries. You can change the spacing if you'd like. Whatever makes the most sense to you. Add some extra white space underneath and save. Now this might be a good time for me to show you the mobile styling because we just added a lot of blocks and moved things around. You click this mobile view in the top right, it will show you what your website will look like on mobile. And like I expected, it's not too great. So let's just click and drag these buttons to the center. And then what I would probably do, because I am pretty particular, I would just highlight and give these a little bit more space to breathe. Give a little bit more white space. That's what I would do. Maybe drag all of that down one. And one more. <laughs> That's what I would do. Let's come back to, I hit save just to make sure. Let's come back to desktop view, edit section, colors. This one might be one where it's nice to change the sections. It's a lot of that teal header there. <laughs> But you can just click through and it will use all of the colors you've already put in to show you different ways to use them. I would go with this one. In my opinion, simple is always better. Hit save and exit. We have a home page, which they're calling wedding. Location page, gifts page, and RSVP. Let's click into this last page. Click edit. We've got a background image and a title. You can customize this message here. You can center it. You can make it bigger. You can do all sorts of things. 
And then you've got this RSVP form. This form is built directly into the Squarespace website, and it will email you RSVPs when people fill out this form. So again, click on the block, click on the pencil icon. You can customize the form name. You can customize whatever you want this send button to say. Maybe you want it to actually say RSVP. And then to customize the form, hit edit form fields, and you can either drag and drop what they already have in the template, or you can delete um, and add your own fields. Let's say you want people to song suggestions. You want to make sure um, to see what kind of song suggestions people have for the dance floor. Probably not, but that's I'm just showing you how to use it. <laughs> Go back Customize your form the way you'd like. Go back again. The design tab. You've got all sorts of uh, design styling for your form. Doesn't need to be anything crazy. Button style again. We've got all the buttons styled. I like to center my buttons on forms. If you want to get fancy, you can do that. It'll do fun things to that first name block there for you. Um, we can click through all these other options. If you want to give your form a background color, if you want to make it a light box, I probably wouldn't do that. That'll just make it a button and then the, the form will pop up when you click the button. The important part, storage. This is my email. You don't want things sending to my email. Type in your email. Whatever email you want to collect RSVPs, you can only send it to one email. So pick that email and put that here and connect it to. Whenever anybody fills out this form, it will be emailed to you. If you would like a backup, which I think would probably be smart for this storage, put in your email and then additional storage. I personally would connect it to Google Drive and then every time somebody fills out the form, it will email you and add it to a Google Sheet. That would be my suggestion for you. Back, click out, save, and exit. That, I don't know how long this video has been, <laughs> that is how you quickly and easily create a wedding website and customize it to be your own. I hope this video is helpful. Congrats and good luck on planning for your wedding. If you have any questions, leave those for me in the comments. And I have lots of other Squarespace videos. If you think those might be helpful, check out the rest of my channel and I'll see you in the next one.